looks like it's gonna be a beautiful sunrise this morning. Just heading out in the mountains, going fishing this morning. Uh, heading into a lake I've never been to, so uh, I have no idea how uh, the fishing is, but uh, it looks like it should be good. It's in a good spot, so been on the road for about an hour, kind of about an hour to go, but uh, I'll be at the trailhead here uh, shortly. And like I said, just enjoying the sunrise that's coming up this morning. So I'd like to say I'm here at the trailhead, but I'm not. As you can see behind me, there's snow still. Um, I didn't think there'd be much of an issue, but there's around the corner here a uh, pretty good drift across the road and I can't get through it. So, uh, by my GPS calculations, which I'm a little rough since I've never been here, I'm guessing I'm about a mile from the trailhead. So, since I was planning on hiking anyway, uh, I'm going to grab the fishing pole and go for a walk. So, we'll see if we can get there on foot. It's going to cut a little bit into my day, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll see if we can actually get there. Um, and if not, we'll go for a walk in the snow. Okay, still walking. Uh, it's been about 45 minutes. Like I said I've never been in here, so I don't know if I'm close or I'm just wandering for uh, no good purpose. But I'm gonna get a little bit farther. It's one of those things that you kind of realize is probably a bad idea, but you keep going. So that's where I'm at. <laughs> we'll see where we end up. All right, well I'm getting kind of hot because I'm <laughs> still walking. But uh, I decided to ditch the sweatshirt. You know, it's one of those scenarios where. You know, I'm trying to figure out whether it's worth keeping it going or not, but I know if I don't, I'm going to get up here <laughs> later in the year when I actually do want to get in this lake and realize I almost made it. So, um, I am, you know, I'm not sure uh, how much fishing I'm going to get in, but I've decided I'm going to keep trugging along and at least see if I can find the trailhead. So, lose the sweatshirt so I don't sweat to death and keep on moving. I'm way up in the distance, I can see a sign. So, that's either going to be good news. That's going to be bad news, but uh, at least I have an indication of where I'm at. So uh, keep slogging along and see what that uh, tells me about where I'm at. Okay, so our sign is a scout camp, which is actually a good sign because I believe that means I'm very close. So you can continue on, and hopefully, I think I'm just about there, but uh, either way, uh, at least I found something. So moving on. This is a first sign of water. I don't believe this is the lake I'm looking for. It's way too small. So, I thought I'd check it out though, but it looks pretty shallow and I can't imagine there's any fish in it. So, I think we'll keep on moving. Hopefully, uh, we find this lake before I have a heart attack. So, moving on. Okay, I think I made it. So, what was supposed to be kind of an easy first hike of the year. Uh, I think this trail is supposed to be a mile and a half in. Uh, just by guessing what I'm looking at on the GPS, I, I think that I'm about six miles from my truck. So it turned to be a short uh, theoretical in and out. Uh, it's been a pretty epic hike. But the important thing is uh, I'm going to go see if I can catch a fish. And even if I don't at this point, uh, having that, <laughs> this big of a hike has been. Uh, it's been pretty cool, more than I uh, was thinking I was going to get into today, but uh, looking forward to see if I can catch a fish too. Okay, this is the second option, Littler Lake. Uh, a lot more uh, stuff out here, so maybe a little bit more cover, maybe fish. Nothing else, I could probably at least lo lose a lure here. So, you know, kind of wander out to look for a little deeper water and give this a shot. And then uh, I'm gonna eat something because I've burned some serious calories getting here and I still got a long ways out. So, a few more casts and then some lunch. Ended up being pretty much a failure on the fishing trip part of it. Uh, it's been a really nice hike. Way, way longer uh, and harder than I thought it'd be. 
I wasn't counting on the feet of snow. Uh, the other thing I just discovered was that uh, the Ziploc full of stuff that I was going to make for lunch is probably still sitting on my couch. So, as luck would have it, I at least have a thing of smoked oysters and crackers in my pack. So, uh, I won't starve to death, but uh, it's not exactly what I was planning on for my nice hot lunch. So, anyway, I'm going to get these guys eaten up and uh, slog on down the trail. Well, it's better than nothing. Well, as the old saying goes, uphill in the snow both ways. I think that in today's case, that's pretty true. So, uh, I'm figuring I'm probably not quite halfway back to the truck yet. So, keep moving. As I was trekking along, I got a feeling sorry for myself for not catching any fish or, uh, you know, forgetting my lunch, but <laughs> I realize all that doesn't really matter. You know, out in the woods, beautiful area, the snow covered peaks and, uh, can't help but enjoy just the, the outdoors. So kind of taking a minute here to rest. And I think at least from here, it's downhill. So keep on moving. Okay. Mile post 10. It's good to see my truck's at mile post eight and it's mostly downhill from here. So, uh, the sun's out, so it's actually nice and warm even with the snow, but at least, uh, at least we're going downhill and it's not as deep up here or down here. It's only four or five inches versus the foot that was up there on the hill. So make my way back to the truck and call it a day. Well, there's a site for sore eyes and, more importantly, sore legs and wet feet, but made it out. Uh, I think I'm going to be right at 12 miles, which was a lot more of a hike than I was thinking. I was thinking if I'd gone in at the top, it would have been three. So, a uh, long journey, especially for no fish, but it's a beautiful hike and uh, nice day in the woods. So, that's going to wrap it up. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good one.